Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to do a roundup of all the rumors and leaks related to Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Yes, both 6 and 6 Pro. As last year we only got the Pixel 5 and that was no Pixel 5 XL or Pro variant. But this year Google is back on track to release one regular and one larger phone. About its launch and price? Well, we will get to that at the end of this video. Now let's begin with the design. The cab render shows the phone will employ two-tone design but what's striking is the bump on the back which is housing the rear cameras. It's nice to see Google trying something new and different from the rest of the industry. This design seems to make sure the phone doesn't wobble when it's placed flat on the surface. Sure, if you tap on the edges, it will wobble but no one uses the phone in that manner. In most use cases, it will stay still. More on that will be discussed when the phone is launched. But what we can discuss right now is its front design. It will sport a centered hole punch cutout with minimal bezels. It feels like a Samsung Note or the Xperia phone from front with its boxy design and we sure do love it. Coming to processor, Google is going to use its own GS101 silicon which is codenamed White Chapel. This chip is being made in collaboration with Samsung and will use Mali G78 GPU. Now we don't know what core count it will come with but hopefully it will be powerful enough to make Pixel phone compete with other flagship phones. As for display, the Pixel 6 is said to sport a 6.4 inch flat OLED panel but there is no information about high refresh rate. And since in Pixel 5 we saw 90Hz, there is high probability that we might finally get to see 120Hz panel on Pixel 6 series. As for Pixel 6 Pro, it's reported to get a 6.67 inch curved OLED panel with an unknown amount of refresh rate. Here both phones will share some similarities like the presence of an in-display fingerprint scanner, support wireless charging and USB Type-C port. But the huge difference you'll find is in the speaker. While the Pixel 6 comes with bottom firing speakers, Pixel 6 Pro gets stereo speakers. Now coming to cameras, which is a key component in Pixel phones. New leak claims that there will be two cameras on the back of the base Pixel 6 and three on the Pixel 6 Pro. According to the information, the Pixel 6 Pro will use a main sensor up to 50 megapixel. It will sit alongside an ultra wide and a periscope telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. What's interesting here is that there seems to be some sensor wedged in between these two sensors. Slash Gear, who first shared the images, says that it looks like there's no LiDAR sensor here. But if you look closely, it looks like the sensor between the main and the ultra wide camera could be the LiDAR. If not, then you can comment your thought about it. It will be interesting to see what you think. Also, you will find a lot of new camera modes to play with. As for battery, there isn't a lot of information available, but recent rumors suggest that the Pixel 6 Pro will have a nice, big 5000 mAh battery to power its large display. The smaller Pixel 6 might sport a 4500 mAh battery. Both of these capacities seems like they would be great given the past battery life problems on Pixels. About its software, in this video we are not gonna go deep into the software side of things but we all know it will come with Android 12 with Material U design. Now coming to launch and price, Google has stuck with a pretty consistent time frame for announcing its new smartphones. It's been October of every year except for last year when they released it in September because of pandemic. This year we feel Google will be back on track and release it in October but the problem here is not the release, it's when you'll be able to buy the Pixel 6. Pixel 5 sales didn't begin until October 29th, almost a full month after Google announced the thing, which never happened previously, so finger crossed for smooth sailing of this event. The pricing is a bit complicated, last year Pixel 5 was an upper mid-range phone, so technically we cannot compare the price to other flagship phones which ranged close to $1000. This year with Google releasing Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, things are looking different. In fact, the Pixel 6 Pro could very well be the first true premium Pixel. Also, if you factor in the chip which is made in-house, this will save some money and maybe they will pass it on to consumers, making the phone a bit more affordable. In any case, the price tag will almost assuredly be quite high. But you will get a phone without any compromise unlike prior Pixel phones. And with that, we conclude our video. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.